Hey everyone, welcome back to another drone video. So today I'm going to be doing red hair shanks from One Piece. Close up on his face as usual, we'll start with his right eye. So find the middle, come over a little bit, and then we'll do a diagonal line up. We'll bring across his top eyelid, all the way across to there. This is gonna curve back down in there, and then across the other side. We have his iris in under there. And then in there we have a dot for his pupil. Just above that then we have a real thin eyebrow that goes diagonal up this way. It's like a tick, just up there. And then we have just a line across the top just for his eyelid. Just comes, curves down just about to there. And then a line just underneath for his eyelid under there. So he has a couple of frown lines just coming up this way. And some just coming up around like that. And we'll go over and we'll go about an eye distance and we'll do the same on the other side. So we'll diagonal up. This will come across. And then we're going to come down real thin thin eyes, diagonal down, back around, touch the other side. We have, in that one piece style, we have a circle and then a dot in the middle. A tick then for the eyebrow again, so it comes up real long up that way. Goes underneath some of his hair that comes down here, so we'll just stop it there and make it maybe a bit thicker down here. Now we have a line for his eyelid, just across there. And then down under here, just like that. Bottom eyelid. He's got that frown line just here as well, just coming up. Some lines going up this way, just like here too. Now of course he has those scar marks that are on his, his this eye here on this side. So we just do a bumpy line that gets real thin up here. There's three of these thin and then it gets bumpy down to here down to his eyebrow and then it comes right down to his eyelid in there could do the same pretty much for the next two except they get a little bit smaller so up to there see it's a little bit smaller come back down bumpy just to there and then bump bump down around to there then the last one real thin just there, it's the smallest one, comes back down to here. And then this one will come down to his eyelid, just there. And then down to his eye, just like that. Of course, he got slashed totally on the face, so it comes down onto his cheek as well. So it comes down there, make it real bumpy and thin then down here. And then another one here, just like that. And then the last one just comes down here. It's about there, smallest one again. Just there, traveling down from those. Now, so we can do his nose, just comes down the middle of his face, diagonal in, down the middle of his face. We're gonna bring the tip of his nose around a little bit and then do nostrils just underneath, just like that. And then we're gonna do his mouth. So he's looking real serious in this one. So just do that center line, just there underneath his nose and then bring him down both sides, real serious looking. We have a line just under there for his lip. And then a line in the middle, just there for his top lip. So then he has uh, some facial hair that goes around, comes around to his chin. So if you come down a bit, do his chin. And then we can just do this facial hair that comes up around his jaw. So it comes up to about here 
which is about here, and it comes all the way around his face. So real small dashes, stuff like that. Going around his top lip. Come around the side. And we add some down here too. So small little lines. All the way around. Just like that. Now, so the side of his face comes up to his ears. So we're going to go up this direction, all the way up to the top of his ears, just there. Same around here to jaw, and then up to his ears, just there. And then we have an ear, comes across here. Same on the other side. Of course, if I go too fast for you guys, just pause the video. So two ears, bones and ligaments inside. Curve around, bring it down, just like that. That's the easiest way to do bones and ligaments, just like a letter J. And then we have some lines just in there for the rest of those shapes that are inside ears. Do the same thing here. Lots of different ways of doing that. Right, so he has some hair that comes down around his face just here. So we'll come up from the ear, we'll do a sideburn just there, and then this will come down around there, comes out, comes back in, comes back down, comes back up a little bit, comes down there, this comes back up, and this will go around his eye and his eyebrow, curve up to about there. And then we have another little piece of hair that comes down the front of his face. All the way past his eye down to there. And then it comes up. All the way around and curves back into his eyebrow just there. So like a hook shape. And then this other side will do pretty much the same thing. So it'll hook around like that. And it'll come down beside this eye here. All the way, travel down to a spike, come back up to another little one here. And then this will travel up. And then there's some more hair that comes down just the side of his face here. Two little spikes and go back up as well all the way up and we have some hairlines that are in the middle here come around come around his head follow that shape and this one will travel up to here too and then we have some lines that show his forehead and his hairline comes across like that just a line in there, kind of like this one. Uh, and then we have just, we can see the top of his head along the back. This comes down. Real wavy beside his ear, spikes back up there. And then we've hair spikes down here. Like that. And we'll do something similar on the other side. Don't worry, it's not exactly the same. You're just making it look bumpy. Coming all down. And then it spikes up down here. So see, I didn't even worry too much if they were exactly the same on both sides. Hair moves, changes direction. Uh, we will just do another little piece of hair comes down here. And his eyebrow disappears underneath that hair just there. Um, we can just see some frown lines just in this side of his nose as well. And maybe some here. Just going to make his top eyelid a bit thicker. And right, his neck. So he's real big neck. 
So it comes down right next to his ears. So comes over the hair, comes all the way real far. Comes down real wide and long in that one piece sort of style. Real wide. He has some lines for the inside of his neck just there. And then something similar over this side. This one will curve around then. And then we have the side of his clothes. So it comes here. Another line there goes off my page. Top of his collar that goes behind his head comes out the other side just there. And then lines for his clothes goes off my page there. Another one there. And just add maybe some hatching or something under there. And I'll just add maybe some more hairlines just around here. Some more frown lines coming up that direction. Maybe some more eyelid. There you go, that's the basic idea, red hair shanks. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, share.